Hi, Nikki here from Purple Patch Fishing. Well, we're up at Gippsland for the weekend. A beautiful winter's day. It's cold, but beautiful afternoons. Chasing some winter brim. Well here we are at Gippsland, we've just put in, we're going to sand our way up and down the river just until we can find some fish and then we'll start fishing. Alright, found a few fish on the sounder. What we might do is put the electric down and have it just start and see how we go. Just working this soft plastic back up, casting to the bank and then just working it back off. There's a bit of a, a drop off. Caught a couple doing it this way. Just letting it sink, the lure sink. <clears throat> letting it sit on the bottom, the brim are actually picking it up off the bottom. Just working the edge with soft plastics and first one for the morning. Middle of July, so it's the middle of winter here in Australia. And as you can see, there's not a breath of air, of wind. We're rugged up because it's, it is cold. All you people out there not fishing, you need to get on the water. This is just so fantastic. You're missing out. Oh, I'm on a nice little brim here. Oh, pick the, pick the soft plastic up off the bottom. Oh, I'm using a hurricane sub grub in motor oil. Oh, not a huge one, but all right. Net. Oh. <laughs> Got to be happy with that. That's a yellow fin. Pinged him right in the top of the nose. He wasn't getting off with that one. Oh, oh look, that just. Oh, I didn't even have to grab that with the pliers. Oh, just on the end there. Come on, don't you come? Oh, there we go. Yay! Pop it in a live well just to revive a little bit before we release it. Catch another one! So this is what I'm using this morning. A little uh, motor oil colour in the Hurricane sub grubs. Oh. Get another one out because I just got snagged and lost it. Oh. Oh, they're, they're nice and stretchy. Made out of a nice stretchy, really lightweight plastic and that floats. So the idea is the the jig head will make it sort of just float down nice and naturally and it sits on the bottom with the tail. This tail wafts in the, up in the water, wafts around and looks like something feeding on the bottom, a worm or something like that. And the brim go, mm, I like that. Yum. <laughs> One of the key things when you're winter fishing is just to keep it really slow. The fish are a bit, you know, they're lethargic. Um, so you've just got to slow, make sure you slow your retrieve, leave the, the lure on the bottom a little bit longer. Give them a chance to sort of get to it and eat it. Just looking at those rocks over there, I'm going to cast right on them. Oh yeah, it's right on the money that one. Should get me a good fish. I'm just gonna cast down here along the bank. Waiting for that lure just to sink and hit the bottom. 
It's such a beautiful day. We're in the middle of winter, middle of July. Oh, I think it's a funny actually. Oh. Oh. The little brimmy's upside down. <laughs> Fowl hooked him. Oh, he's just, he's wrapped up. <laughs> he's not the wrapped in line around his back. Oh. Hey. Another one on the grub. That's not a bad one. Black brim. Another quality brim on a sub grub. Motor oil colour. Doing the damage. Check this one out. Pick the soft plastic up off the bottom and clunk. Another quality Gippsland brim. Having an absolutely sensational morning here at Gippsland. Oh, let's get rid of this one. Oh. <laughs> let's get another one. So we can see plenty of fish on the sounder and they're all along so we're just you know casting into the bank and just working it back across letting it sink lifting it letting it sink just working it all the way back out through those fish that we can see hoping that one of them takes it the biggest one of course Look at the sounder, all these arches are brim, they're all stacked up. It's, it's really important to have great electronics. You know, this is a Lowrance TI2, it's really worth it. Look at those arches. 42 tipper. Love Gippsland brim. So we're just drifting down the river, going with the current but using the ele electric just to, you know, every now and then, just to keep our line, keep the boat sort of straight and at a good angle to the bank. So you have to be set up for brim fishing. It's not gonna cost you a fortune, but you need to have the right gear. So any of you ladies out there that, you know, want any information, comment below and I'll hopefully I can help you out. Today I'm just running light braid. I've got a, and a four pound leader on. Uh, I started off with probably a rod and a half length. I've lost a couple of jigs, unfortunately, so I'm down to, you know, I've still got a good few feet of um, leader on. The jig head's a 1 12th jig head, a little bit heavier than I would normally use, uh, but the water's flowing um, quite strong, so you need it to get down to the bottom, because that's where the fish are feeding. Good spot to cast. It's not a big fish. It's only a little one, but it's a fish. Uh, he's got uh, got a fair bit of fight in him, though. Oh, it's a nice little brim. Let me show you that one. Get that one out of the net. Give you a look. Oh. 
Yeah, only a little -y. But full of fight. So I'm no, my, no means an expert, but I tell you what, I am having so much fun catching these. <laughs> Hooks out, back it goes. Let's get another one. This is what Gippsland's got to offer. Kilo brim, more than one of them. What a weekend. This gorgeous brim's about, you know, 20 to 30 years old. Got to release it back to breed. What an awesome weekend of fishing in beautiful Gippsland. I hope you've enjoyed it. We had so much fun. Remember to like the video and subscribe. Well, that's it for us for the weekend. We've had an absolutely awesome time. Time to get on the road, head back to Melbourne. Catch you on the water soon.